guys, it's Dragocraft here today. Oh uh, yeah, okay, no. We're gonna be playing, as soon as I, if I can finally cut through all this crap, we're gonna be playing Fossil Finals! Well, Fossil. he is. I'm not. Uh, shut up. You, you're playing in my imagination. Okay, then. Yep. Hey, if, hey, if you give me that emulator, I will play Fossil Fighters with you. I don't know. What would be the point, though? They wouldn't see you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's just hit new game, even though this, <coughs> it really doesn't... Do you sneeze? <coughs> oh, that's a sneeze. Okay, bless you. Thank you. Don't tell if you, if you sneezed. We're going to start a new game, even though it doesn't really matter, because I'm using an emulator, so it doesn't actually... um. What's it called? Matter. Yeah, because you, you save using the emulator. As we near our exciting destination, Vivasol Island, please enjoy this informative vi informative video. I don't know why, for some reason I always imagine the captain having that voice, because I used to play this game all the freaking time! I've never played it, but I really do want to play it. It's a really, really awesome game, I love it. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just so, really? like, classic. And I love that song, it's so cool. Oh, I wonder what that that looks like. I would never guess. Vivo Soul Island is an island resort run by the Richmond Foundation. Why is my voice screwing up? <sighs> the biggest attraction on Vivo Soul Island is Fossil Stadium. The Fossil Battles that have fought there. I'm trying to get like the perfect voice for this. Dinosaurs have the ancient past to revive with greater powers than ever when sent into battle. This isn't working, is it? Mm -mm. The power, the savagery, the drama, thrilling in every way, every time. T-Rex. Uh, and for those who want to do more than just watch, training is available to become a fossil fighter. Oh, I think I just screwed up that sentence. Fossil fighters dig their own fossils, revive their own dinosaurs, and fight their own battles. If you've dreamed of rising for the fighter ranks, then become a master fighter. Dream no longer. Unless you suck. <laughs> yes, yes, yes! This is the start of an extravagantly exciting and fabulously fantastic adventure. Wow, too many adjectives. I just spawned and died. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you playing? Penguin slapping! I oh, okay. I, I, for some reason, thought you were playing like survival games. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, well, oh, after that video, I will bet you can hardly wait to get there. Yay. Kill. Murder. What? I'm sorry. Wait, let me guess. You're on your way to the island. Become a fossil fighter. You an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that twinkle in your eye before- wait, 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 you know me? Oh, well, I guess then again, I never thought about that, actually. He is the guy taking me, so it kind of makes sense. But it says a lot about you, lad. It takes bravery to go all the way to the Vivo Soul Island on your own. Dude, I wish I could do that. <laughs> That'd be, like, awesome if your parents were like, Hey, you want to go to an island all by yourself? Ah, go ahead. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I'm Captain Travels. What's your name, young man? Wait, how does he- Why is he speaking like he knows me, but he doesn't know my name? Don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna do my regular name because I already just said because Dragoncraft does not fit, so I could have just done DC actually. That would have made more sense, whatever. But not made more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told your name to Captain Travels. My name's Ben. I like Travels. <laughs> my pinatas. I'll stab you with my pinata. What? So they call you Ben, eh? That's right, they do. That's a great name. I can easily picture a famous fossil fighter named Ben. If you were out to become a fossil fighter, I imagine you're a big fan of dinosaurs, right? Oh, I'd like the dino you soul. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, if you want to be a fossil fighter. Okay, so now he's going to ask us, which do you like better, carnivores, meat eaters, or herbivores? Plant eaters. You should really know that if you're playing this game. I like carnivores. No, no, no. Wait, do you get the option of omnivore? Uh, no. Oh, well, then carnivore. Okay, before I choose this, I'm actually not going to be doing carnivore because of the way, actually, yes, I am. Okay, the reason he asks you this, there's two points to the reason he asks you this. I'm going to try, this is a Let's Play, so this is going to be mostly of information. I'm going to try, I'm going to be reading, and I'm going to try to show you guys everything. Hopefully. Yeah. Alright, the, the, the main thing is um, the color. The color of your character, which you haven't even seen yet, is based on what dinosaur you choose. That's one of the two things. And I want my character to be a certain color, so I'm going to go Carnival. And then he's gonna ask you whichever one you do, large or small. I'm gonna say small. Small carnivores. Hanzo, are you a carnivore? Yes. Between two of these small carnivores, do you like better? Yep. 
uh, Velociraptor, and I don't know exactly how to pronounce this. I actually probably should have like done this before I recorded, but oh well. Uh, Dianoix, <laughs> the stealthy red shadow, or the silent grey hunter, Velociraptor. Which one? Which one then? Huh? Well, I'm gonna do Velociraptor because I like the color scheme. It's like black and grey. Ah, so you're more of a Velociraptor type, eh? That's right. Sixer. That's right, because you just chose Velociraptor. <laughs> I remember that. The Velociraptor fan, Ben. That's right, you battle. I'm going to be a famous boss battle. Ho. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, what? You should seriously get me that emulator. Because I, ha I suck with downloading things. I don't understand how you suck at downloading things. Most of the time there's a button that says download. You click it. You spam that click button. You just click it, click it, click it. Wait, then I downloaded a crap ton of them. Okay, there we go. That's okay, okay, right there. Uh, like I said, the only thing that ever changes is the color. In the second one, which I might actually have to do because it's a sequel and I love that game. Um, the second one that's also really cool. You actually can change uh, a little bit more than just that, which is actually really cool. <clears throat> so long for so long for now, Ben. I wish you the best of luck. Did I win? Did I, I think I won actually. Okay, sorry about the quality, uh, if you notice the people are sort of pixelated, I think that's what you'd call it, it's not exactly, okay, when you zoom in a little bit more, they look a lot better, but basically, if you're playing this on a DS, it looks, the people, for some reason, only the people, everything else seems to look fine, but the people are different, so I'm sorry about that. Welcome so to Viva Soul Island, wait, what? 8-bit, that's like, pixelated. Yeah. Oh, oh well, like, the dinosaurs of ages passed last sleep as fossils in the ground, sorry, I'm just trying to read text. Uh, yes, welcome! Ha 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 Kill, stab, what? This is Viva Soul Harbor, Viva Soul Island's only port. New people arrive here every- Okay, I'm gonna stop reading like this, because I wanna hurry up for this, all this crap text. Some are just fans of dinosaurs, but some are new fossil fighters in the making. I think I'm just gonna play this whole game with literally just my mouse. That's actually really helpful. We work here as support staff for the fossil fighters. To become a fossil fighter, you need to visit the fossil center and talk to Doc Dr. Diggins, which I'll have a little bit of a mess up uh, later. I'll tell you guys about that. To get the to get the fa to the fossil center, if you can say. That's Dr. Diggins, by the way. Just go right up this path, straight ahead. Ooh, so much to do, so much to do. I don't know who that was. Oh, it's Dr. Diggins. The lot is very boring. Best, most generic name ever, Dr. Diggins. I'll dig you in. What? No, that's not it. Hmm, no, that's not it either. Um, Ben, I know another oh. generic name just like that. Or almost just like that. What? Dr. Digger. I've got it! It's for the, um, Diggin' Rig. Diggin' Rig. I'll dig you rig. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, Dr. Diggins. That just sounds weird. <laughs> I assume you're here to take our newest recruit to the fossil center? Yay, take me to the fossil center. What? Oh, a new recruit? Of course, always happy to show a new fighter the ropes. I don't know why I want to see ropes, but... Let me just, uh, change schedule. Uh, what were we just talking about? Never mind. I'll see you later. Wait, wait, what, on, woo, so much to do, so much to do. Hey, hey, lady, lady, man, wait. No, oh, she left me. Hey. Woman! Sigh, that was the head of the fossil center, Dr. Diggins. Oh, and he'll be responsible for issuing your fighter's license. Good luck with that. <laughs> okay, so this is what I screwed up before. Let's take a look, uh, take a closer look at the fossil center, shall we? Dr. Diggins is indeed a dude, in case you didn't notice that. I always thought he was a girl for a very large part of my childhood. That playing this game, so I played this game, the first time I played this game was like a couple years ago, quite a few. In fact, this is actually the, I think the game that caused me to get the biggest headache I've ever had. This is the funnel center. I'm always on duty at the waterfront, so if you have any questions, come ask anytime. Please go on inside. I'll do that. You think I could like hit on the uh, receptionists? Probably. They all no. Very, they all look very generic, so I might end up like tapping both of them and then be like, "Hey, what were you doing last night?" I'm like, "Um, I think I was with you, right? Or someone that looked like you." <laughs> Welcome to the fossil center. Does she just wink at me? She looks like she's winking. I swear, like, a part of, like, the two black eyes, like, it was so pixelated, they just looked like squares, you know? And it, I said, it, one of them was, like, go, like, the black would disappear and then reappear, and it looked like she was winking at me. <laughs> that was so funny. Hi, I'm Wendy. I take it you're here to register as become a fossil fighter? No! I'm here to slap you. Okay, I was In the bum. I was gonna say something sarcastic, but, uh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Dr. Diggins returned just a while ago, but has unfortunately wandered off somewhere again. Oh yeah, this is a dude, by the way. Um, Ansel, so I, I didn't know you like it that that kind of way. Oh god, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I it's, thought it was a girl. I'm just kidding. It is. Her name's Wendy. Oh okay. <laughs> it could be a while before we find him. You might want to go over to the hotel and check in while you wait. Uh, where the frick am I getting money? <laughs> I don't know if there'll be credit cards in this game. But the hotel, to the right. Oh, that's a fancy hotel. It's big. It's just to the right of the fossil center. You actually saw a map. You can actually, actually see that. There's a map in the top. By the way, fossil stadium, fossil center, hotel, fountain, get away, bath, blah 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 blah. See you in a while. Oh yeah, I'll be seeing you, baby. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to like do this. Uh, is this the part where? Yep, piggy. Wow, I can't stop! What the heck? Oh! Dude, she, I think she just like kiss ran me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That is the oh. perfect voice. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? You know, that for the rest you? of your life. I was running to get in shape, you know. Anyway, I must have gone too fast because I can't slow down. Oh, I can't slow down. I'm really sorry. Light bulb. <laughs> Whatever you need to do an impression of someone, just do that. Oh my god. Oh, I know. As an apology, I've got a good tip for you. If you hold the B button as you move, you can run. Thanks! Oh, god. I'm on a freaking no. computer! <laughs> Use the stylus to touch the screen farther away from yourself to run in that direction. Hope that helps! See ya! Well, it didn't. I don't know why I gave her like a gossipy, like, biatch tone, but oh well. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I could move crap. No, it suited her. Okay, I don't. I think that's like the only time you see. Oh, now we got the fancy hotel dude. He's awesome, like suit. Hotel manager. I don't know why the manager would be talking to people, but okay. Welcome to the Relic Hotel, where we provide quality lodging for aspiring fossil fighters. Maybe it's because, like, since I'm a fossil fighter, I get like free entry. You know. Maybe. We've been expecting you, Ben. Right this way, please. <laughs> I'm just that awesome. Oh my god, the walking in this game is so ridiculous. You don't even need to make reservations. They make <laughs> reservations for you. And maybe my parents are like super big and awesome. This elevator will take you to your room. Or maybe I'm like an awesome orphan that's like on my own beat with awesome dinosaurs. Like a badass orphan? Yeah. Th cool. blah, blah, blah. Here is your room. Ben, stand in front of the door and press the A button to open it. No derp. <laughs> that doesn't even help. Nope, because I'm an idiot. You must be tired from your long journey to Vivaso Island. I, I was in a boat. If you want to save, press start to open the save slash options menu. You can save anywhere, not just in the hotel. I hope that helps. Have a nice day. You know, I just I'm not sure how to open that because I'm on a computer. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to actually push keys or if something pops up on the screen. Crap, nothing pops up on the screen. I don't know how to open the thing. Crap! Press random keys, hurry! No, I don't want to screw anything up. I'll have to do that. I'll have to do that. Hopefully, I won't have to open it. And I can do that, like, before the recording. Well, after the... I mean, after this, because I don't want to push random buttons and have something screw up. Hmm. You know what I will do is, because this... Since this doesn't... I'm just going to say file. Max wants to come in and say hi. Oh. Okay. So, ben. Sorry, guys. I don't. I didn't want you to have to see that, but... um. I Before you depart, please allow me to help explain help mode. <laughs> Is there me. anything at all you do not understand? Press select to switch to help mode. Yes. In help mode, the game will pause and display help message at the top screen. You sign again call. to exit help mode. What? Say hi to him. He just wants to say hi and then he will come back out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Press select again to exit help mode. So with that, have a nice day! Ansel? Yeah? Are you going somewhere? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I thought you had to leave. We. No, I just got back from the movies. Yeah. Never mind, I just heard your mom talking to you, so it wasn't like... No, um, my dog wanted in my room, so she was... Yeah, he just wants to hug you. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to go into the... Fossil. And stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm supposed to go into the fossil. Welcome to the fossil center! So about those reservations, baby. I mean, um, oh, you were just there? Sorry to keep you waiting. Dr. Giddens has returned, fortunately. You should probably talk to him before he wanders off again. Dr. Diggins is in the back room. Please enter the room for the door on your right. Get close and press the A button to talk. Or get close and tap on the screen to stylist to walk, to talk to them. Good then, head on into the back room. What's oh, the A button? So, so that's what we're gonna do. Wow. 
Whoa, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's like a foot tall. Me, so that's not good. Uh, oh, hi there, Ben. Right, I'm Dr. Diggins. I'm the director and head researcher for the Fossil Center. Good to meet you properly. Sorry if I was a little scattered when we went before. This place keeps me really, really busy, you know? Oh, I know. What? Oh, I know, girlfriend. I mean, wait, uh, you're gay, right? Uh, Ben, fossil hunting is all kinds of fun. I should know. It's my life's work. Cool. I've been interested in fossils since I was just a little boy. That always gave me an image of him just, like, sitting there for a rock saying, I want a fossil. <laughs> I was just a little boy. I broke my mother's favorite teacup and tried to hide it by burying it in the garden. A few shovel scoops of dirt later, I found a strange rock. I stopped digging to get a closer look at it. It turned out to be a Stegosaurus fossil. Do you know how, like, freaking ridiculous that would be? If someone found a fossil in their, like, garden. I really don't even know how that's possible. That is not possible. Like, I would have thought that it would have already been, like, the that's ground would have been, like, flattened and stuff, you know? Like, how far would you dig? Well, I don't know. I was so excited, I forgot what I was doing in the first place. I ran inside to show my mother. She asked me where I found him. Before I knew it, I had to explain why I was digging in the garden. I've only seen my mother that angry a few times. But even so, I was excited by my discovery. Well, then. <laughs> You're an fossil is still my most prized possession. Oh, let me just steal that. Where was that located again? <laughs> but enough about me. Let me explain about being a fossil fighter. Uh, uh. I know, like, everything. You fight dinosaurs. BAM! As a fossil fighter, you search for fossils, dig them up, and use them to revive dinosaurs. Fossil fighters strive to revive and sh fossil fighters strive to revive stronger and stronger dinosaurs. And eventually, become master fighters. That's not. It's not fighters. It's fighters. You bring fossils you've dug up at the dig sites to the fossil center for cleaning and revival. Cleaning is the process of removing extra rock from around the fossil. Bringing dinosaurs to life from fossils you cleaned is called reviving. And revive dinosaurs all. Are called vivosaurs. I'm not sure if it's vivosaurs. I'm pretty sure it's vivosaurs. More on that later. Vivosaurs sound better. Yeah. Fossils can be divided into four types: head, body, arms, and legs. As you have the head, you can revive the dinosaur. The revival process isn't perfect though. Dinosaurs revive, pick up traits from their environment, which give them odd appearances and powers. Okay, so let's just go over this real quick. Basically, there's five uh, attributes. Uh, I, don't, I don't really need to go over them right now because there's already a thing that tells us about it, so I'll just explain it then. But that's what I was talking about there. Um. I completely forgot. Crap, I forgot the other thing it was talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, we'll talk about it a little bit later, but there's the full parts, and you need the head to actually revive and use the dinosaur. That's why yeah, we usually the, call them vivosaurs, the especially since many of them are technically dinosaurs at all. What? Oh, I was just saying the four parts are the head, body, arms, and legs. Yeah, no, I already read that. <laughs> In any case, you should know that the more parts you find from a vivosaur, the stronger it'll be. And while hunting for dinosaurs is important in its own right, the cleaning is also very important. It makes it stronger. The more effectively you clean your fossils, the stronger your vivosaurs will be, baby. Why are they called vivosaurs? What? Why are they called vivosaurs? I'm not sure the name actually came from, but the person says it's because of the fact that they pick up attributes from their environments. Okay, time to take your first step towards becoming a fossil fighter, learning to clean a fossil. Puh, <laughs> baby, I've done this so many times. I keep calling Dr. Ziggins baby like it's actually a girl, but I know it's a dude. Okay, let's talk about cleaning. You know, I think I'm just gonna skip this. No, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna explain what you got. Okay, this is x-ray. It shows the bone underneath, except for one type of fossil rock we'll go about later. This is the drill. It's for, like, really weak parts of the rock, like, later on, like, right on top of the bone so you don't scratch it. Because uh, the more damage you do the bone, the less score you get, which can mean you fail and don't even revive, can't even use it. And also, the stronger more points you get, the stronger the dinosaur is in terms of ranks, which we'll talk about that later. Hammer is obviously for the stronger parts. This is your time, 90 seconds, you have 90 seconds to do it. The blue has to be, the blue comes from the bottom, which is how much is clean correctly. Has to be above that line to finish. Uh, I believe that's also like 50 points. Red comes from down here, so the more you damage it, the more the less chance it is to get more points. And this is the fossil rock, by the way. You can also like tap the screen to blow the thing to make it so uh, the dust clears off, because dust will get around. I'm just skipping past this now, because I just, it's just explaining exactly what I just said. Oh crap. There you go, you can do, the, you can see the x-ray. Uh, okay, this, I'll have to get used to cleaning on the computer, though. I've never done this before, so I hope I don't screw it up. I used to be pretty good at cleaning fossil rocks. At least enough to get by. I mean, I played it a lot. Oh, yep, there's the bone down there. Uh, ee! Oh, I damaged it a bit, dang it. <sighs> oh, well. I'm gonna use the drill. I, wonder if, I can't tell so far if this is gonna be easier or harder to do on the computer. 
There's a guy standing on top of Sky's head, Ben. Yep, either a hacker or VIP, because VIPs can fly up there. They're a VIP. What? They're a VIP. Where? Oh, <laughs> god dang it. It's damaged it a little bit, I think. Okay, so I'm doing what a VIP can do without being a VIP. I wonder how, I wonder how you're doing that. I wonder too. Announce to the entire world that it's uh, oh, pretty much announcing what you're doing right now. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not doing anything. Why are you talking about I'm not hacking anything? I'm just jumping around. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> you're jumping there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only one block. Okay, oh, smashing Time success, fight. that's when you get 90 points or above, and I got 97, so that's pretty good. A smashing success, that's amazing, apparently I have nothing more to teach you. <laughs> Damn right. Keep up the good work in the future. And we're about to get the first member, well, I think so anyway, I'm not sure actually about my team yet, but the first member of my team, good job, and next let's revive your freshly cleaned fossil. Spinex. So basically they give you a dinosaur? Yep. Well, it's a very strong dinosaur, too. Oh, crap. All time is pretty much up. Revival! Okay, I didn't get to explain about that. Dang it, it didn't... Can I, like, go back to the screen, please? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of explaining real quick before we end it off. Uh, okay. So first off, this is Spinax. He is a air type dinosaur. 70 health, uh, rank 1 out of 12, 20 attack, 8 defense, those things. I think that's what you're saying. Featuring an auto counter ability, Spinax deals damage when attacked and is effective anywhere in the field. He's a really, really good dinosaur. That's around, that's why it's all, all around large. That's why he's one, the one you guys get. This is support effects. I'll get to that in battle. This is his only move right now. Skills doesn't have any. Okay, so this is what it means by head, body, arms, and what the points do. The points is how they rank up. This is one of two ways the other is battling to get these points. Um, as you can see, so the more you get, the faster you rank up. See, now I only need three until I rank until he ranks up again, and you rank up every 50 times except for the very first thing. It takes up to 100. Take to rank two. Well, I guess that's actually because rank one is getting 50 points, so that's why you have to get to rank one. Anyway, okay, so that's going to be it for this episode because we're like 20, 30 minutes in or something. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, oh my god. That's going to be it for this episode. When we return, we'll probably be talking to Dr. Jiggins because that's what I'll we'll have to do right after this. So, we'll see you guys later. Bye. No. Aww.